What it do? What it is, what it be like, focus. Your boy again, TC on Sticks. We're back for Final Fantasy here. We are not done. Uh, last time we left off, we got a guy building us a bridge and we were killing giant scorpions. Let's finish up. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? See? Told y'all. Wasn't lying to you. Oh, they rushing? Listen. You can never rush perfection, all right? Let the man do his work. Let him have his time. Be patient. Go to a pub. You ain't pulled that sword from it, Scott. Ain't no side door. I'm trying to get to this. All right, guess I got to go to the front. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And Yo, why they call him Bernard? Oh, well, Bernard, bro. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They would nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. Why do I get the feeling that's eventually going to be me? But you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. I bet. We'd be delighted. Meteorite. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. Yeah, let me get a gin and tonic and um my girl over here, she'll get a Bahama Mama. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Just playing. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. <sighs> Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes. Well, hmm. Ah, dear! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Mm. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Oh, that's well, crazy. It's dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? He was. No, but you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. Right? You know what? I like right? this because you got some underlying connotations here. We, we, what we're talking about is like straight up discrimination. Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. I like stuff like that. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. And just so y'all know, I'm black, so like I got a thing for this type of type this type of topic. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey, Glademond Abbey. On the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. 
Understood. All right, guess so. Hold up. Did I prioritize the thing? I don't think I prioritized it in time. Maybe I didn't. All right, I guess I did. Did I? Did I? I did. All right, let's go. Oh, it feels so good not to have a not to have a controller that glitches on you. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. Decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. Mm -hmm. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. You see? I like that. I think, can we get it cracking? Did a good job with the view. This is nice. With the animals off in the distance, it's still giving me um Oh yeah, and I, I had Google. It's a uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Bluebird. Let me see what you'll give up. Black blood, okay. Moving on. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I can't get away from... Oh. I like it. I can get used to this. Matter of fact, I'm already used to it. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
I like how they do that though. Like you can see like different things gleaming off in the distance, and you're like, oh, I want to go get it. And then when you get close enough, like y'all, oh, y'all not gonna let me in. Okay. When you get close enough, you see that there's a freaking monster in between that you gotta kill in order to get to it, but you don't realize it till you get close enough. I like that. You gotta fight for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we? Come on down. Come. There you go. Ooh. the abbey what darkness awaits us within i wonder let's go uh, see oh, forget it oh yeah Not to fight him if I can help it. Okay. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. I see. Then please, follow me. He sounded like he about to show us something dreadful. I... I never want to die. Please, Nani. father. Help me for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. Hell, where'd I come from? What do I mean? Oh, Medusa style? The curse has taken them, all of them, as it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain. And so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. Epic fail. Well. 
Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Damn, son. Why is that sheet so dirty? Damn, that's crazy. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. So when you're forced to use the ether, I guess when you're forced to use your power, you eventually petrify. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Then like, what do you do with the bodies, bro? What do you do with stone? Like, throw it in the we grass? Should back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Ain't nothing around here, though. Take a quick look around. What's Thank up? Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Joe got in here. Ain't no burgers, no whiskey, no nothing. Alright, we out. Joe got in the back of the house. Not a damn thing. Oh, take that back. Ten pinches of magic ash. I'll take what I can get. Thank you kindly. Let's head on back. Hey y'all, if you're watching, comment, like, and subscribe to your boy. You know what it is. It's TC on sticks. We doing the damn thing on Final Fantasy 16. Make sure ain't no okie doke. Should be alright. Doing the damn thing. The hell? Uh, something off in the distance, but I ain't rocking with that right now. Um, trying to hurry up and finish this up so we can move on to the next game. I definitely know what, what the next game is. Just a matter of finishing this first. I really want to finish this game because I know first and foremost it's a good game, and number two, I didn't finish Call of Duty. And I feel bad for that, so I'm like, yo, like, I gotta finish games. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. Bad news, Martha. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. Upstairs. Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect the accent, bro. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. 
and all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. Message. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. A seal. The slumbering chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. <laughs> Appreciate that, baby. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Lord Rosfield. I love it when I level up. All right, let's roll. Ah, oh, shit. <coughs> ah. Sid. <gasps> oh. We starting to petrify. A thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Oh no. So he's been using it too much. My decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. That's an epic fail. to compare war wounds we didn't thank you Sid for everything <laughs> if you want to leave that's your lookout I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way Sid <laughs> oh. I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. Story time. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. He talking about the girl, the uh, Miss Bob. That we that almost died or dead. Pretty sure she's dead. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. 
And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. That boy said going to keep it a hundred. I'll try. Not telling the hero he can't save nobody else. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that All the last right. of it? So we... Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. All right, so we're going to separate from him, and now we're going to rock with, with Sis for the rest of the journey. All right. Holding on. Make for East Pool. Green sheaves. My dog, Burner. About them boards, I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. All right, bed that up. Okay. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, <laughs> pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. As always, baby. Oh, I hate fighting these spiders, though. But I gotta go get that shiny shit. Can't <laughs> deny. Got four of them. All right. Here we go. Finished up already. I thought we had one more of it. Okay, see. So okay, okay, okay. Do y'all got any shiny shit over here? Okay, then I'm not messing with y'all. Let's get back up here. Hey man, y'all press that thumbs up button real quick while you're watching. Y'all ain't got nothing else better to do but to watch me, so you might as well press that thumbs up. Feel me? Go real slow. Crap! I thought if I could go real slow. Side mission over there. What you got to say? There. Over here. Excuse me. I can use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you wearing. You want a Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait. Think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. 
But we didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something new. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Oh, I want to say the other one so bad. All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. <laughs> All right, off you go then. So I get a thousand. Fine. Let's go kill some wolves. Where you going? Nah, no, we're still getting it. Did he just regenerate? Look, yo, what the? I think I pushed him out of like the, the little battle zone. I feel like this was on the way anyway. Oh! Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's rock. Sucker. Got him to half will. Oh, I missed with it.
Big ass. You better been guarding something cool. I don't want nothing with them killer bees. Let's go back to Bryce and take care of this side mission. it to you bearer your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves so I got rid of the wolves you'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack bitch I got if skills you, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge bugger me you're a tough one aren't you <laughs> oh Frederick you oily bastard I never thought to pit beast against beast like that Served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. I got no damn master. Disrespectful bastard. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. What the? I want to blow their ass off the cliff. Ambush? You! You're Clive Rossfield! <laughs> it's me! Hannah! Rodney Murdoch's wife! Lady Hannah! For Rodney? Oh, I knew it was you! You haven't changed at all! Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> Look at she 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 ugly crying. Snot and everything. to offer but what is mine is yours I mean so do you got whiskey cake we should be uh, like what you I mean what you rolling with hot dogs y'all you got to tell me something right. y'all just go over people's house with no type of verification and you have been wandering the world ever since I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Jake. Y'all gonna have to remind me who the hell Rodney uh, Hannah was. Rodney Murdoch, excuse me. Do you 
think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. You haven't heard, then. Mm. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. That was you. That's Rodney. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, he's definitely dead because of me. My poor don't, child. Don't tell her. All this traveling must have taken its toll. Don't, yeah, don't tell her. Don't, don't. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Don't tell her shit, homie. She'll kick your ass out that house so fast. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. You gotta do what you can for her too. Then kill her husband. Indirectly. Unintentionally. The hell's that red dot? Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? Mm. I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Mm. You got somebody to relate to. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? Mm hmm I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. True. Um. 
Oh, okay, so that's not your sister. That was just like she a cl close family friend you were raised with. Cause I'm, I'm getting. I didn't know if that was Game of Thrones vibes I was getting for a second. Cause. Good night, Clive. I thought there was more on the brother sister tip. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, nice. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke. I like that. Our families that. would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. I really like that outfit. I'm grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. And his allies. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Yeah, I'll change the look later, but I'm definitely indulging in this for a little bit. image of your father and that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes the self-same garments hannah was keeping for you if i'm not mistaken she always swore that she would never part with them until the day elwyn's sons returned and now that day has come <laughs> why you'll be able to take your bearers back as well my bearers Yeah, break that down. What you mean? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. 
We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Let me find out I got a squad. By your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. That's probably true. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I so would he be people most watch. Peeping Tom as the sure. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. You're probably about to get Let's killed. Around. Someone must have seen him. He probably close to getting killed, and I gotta go save him. Well, now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital, too, are you? Nope. We are. Oh. In a way. Well, well then it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. for you I'm looking for a bearer an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields have you seen him ah that old loon no no sign of him today funny he's usually down by the well at this hour cooking up his fantasy feasts I'm sorry I'm telling you about the about to die he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day oh so he cooks he's there now You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. 
Anyway, you'll be around here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. Okay. Thank you for that extra bit of information. Sorry, for making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. <clears throat> hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Hmm. So yeah, we got some history. Oh, she breaking it down to him? Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been on losing all the sense he had left of late. Saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. That's you already know he has. Yeah, I know we gotta play hero. The broken hilt. Mm, I see some shiny shit over there. Y'all see that? Y'all know I gotta go get that. All right, y'all, so the stream is about to end here. <clears throat> Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Appreciate y'all watching. Obviously, we're going to keep going. Got to do another part here in a minute. But comment, like, and subscribe to your boy TC on Stick so you can continue to get all the videos that I have been posting. Matter of fact, you'll be able to get all the stuff that I posted, all the stuff that I'm posting, and all the stuff that I'll post in the future. Oh, by the way, uh, before the stream ends, also go on uh, Twitter, slash X, and go ahead and type in uh, TC on Sticks, and follow your boy on there too. Sometimes I'll give updates on what I do, what I plan to do, what I want to do. Kind of like an online diary, like most people do. So y'all can stay uh, abreast of the information that I give out, you feel me? Alright. Alright, y'all. We out. We just walking right now. But I gotta go find this old guy. So, peace.